guys having fun. First trip around the school parking lot. Don't go too fast, guys. Oh, you got, you got one running, one getting pulled over. <laughs> We're making a, a design for a bedside. So the guys decided that they want to do a bed on this. So we made one out of a piece of cardboard. Now Zaylin's transferring this the pattern from the passenger side to duplicate it as the driver's side. And uh, then we're gonna try to make one a little bit longer to decide what kind of bed design we like. So we'll give you an idea what we're gonna do. Bed size is gonna fit over here. You'll have access to the, to the shock adjustment here. It'll come right out. Bed floor across here, we're gonna bring it out a little bit. And that's where we gotta decide how far out we're gonna come back from the back of the car. Because from a side profile of the car, we don't want the car to get too long, but we mocked up a tire out of cardboard to get an idea. That's about the size diameter tire we're going to run, and we can kind of get an idea on how far we want that to stick past the, the bed, or the, or the bed will stick out past the tires to fit into here. We'll show you the gas tank in just a second. So you can see how with the bed off of it, it looks nice and stubby, but the tire will stick out past the body quite a bit. We're making using our first template, and they're making it two, four, and six inches longer, so we can adjust and trim till we get the bed length exactly where we want it. And that'll give us our template for the left and right side of the bed, and uh, um, will give us a template to to mess with there. And then we can adjust our our bed floor to to fit that. So what we're going to do here is make a bed that will bolt onto here, and in through here, and that'll extend this whole framework out here, and we'll have a series of bolts, four and four, eight bolts will take the whole bed off, and that'll give us, we'll figure out where we need that to be, and we'll fab up around tailgate and everything, and give us some kind of neat design to that. All right, so Zalen's holding that up there. What do you guys think? I'll say to the two. Yeah, I think to the two. two. I think it looks way long when you stand this way. Yeah. Especially with our mock-up tire, but we stand this way and look at it. I don't know; it's not too too bad, but I do I do think it looks too long. You want to go right to the number two spot? Yeah. So number two spot is two inches longer than our original. Um, all right, I'm going to set this desk up here, so then we can hold that up there again, Zaylin. And we're going to set this and leave this right here, and we're going to kind of do it as like almost like a picture frame thing. So there's the two long, and we'll be right back after this with a little bit shorter. So we're gonna cut this out here, take a two inch section from this, and then add that to our original design to add this two inches back in. And that'll give us the bed size. So we decided to go with this length bed, which should be uh, about 25 and a half inches, I think is what the long part will be. And it'll give us a nice little floor sticking out here to, to be able to, that way you have a spot to put your chairs and, and uh, coolers and stuff like that, a little bit of storage. Gets our tank up in a protected spot. It gives us a little bit more meat in the back. It'll give it a, a better look overall. Okay, well, we missed us taping this all together because it was all hands on deck to get this thing taped. So we're gonna get this roughed in like this. We'll have to make some modifications. This whole thing will slide back to give us an airspace here so it'll line up with the shock pretty good there. You have plenty of room for axle travel no matter what we set our ride height at. And then when the wheels and tires are on it'll hide that notch for the shock adjustment. But that's roughly our bed right there. And we'll be able to use it as a template. We're going to pick the side that fits the best. I think it's this one. The uh, And we'll make the pattern for both sides off of that. I think it gives it a good proportion. You can see the whole car in there. Here's that. Another shape. You guys see what I'm doing here? 
I'm, instead of forcing the blade and, and twisting it, it right. I'm just using the blade to widen that gap so I have enough radius to turn. When you're doing that, you just got to make sure that you're doing that and taking material off the side you don't want to keep. The funniest part is when you start feeling the shavings hit you. And that's why I wear safety vests. Yep. I'm really having these gloves. I feel the stuff hit my face. Are you really? It's going that far? It's a good I thing you got safety vests. I feel my hands. Oh, my that's vests. why the safety vests, guys. See, it's a perfect lesson. I bet there's so much scrap on my hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to take a shot. You're going to stick your hands in there. He's going to come in here tomorrow. My hands I'm going to show you tomorrow from the rust from the shower. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> and we'll dress that up when my uh, uh, wheel to zing it with, my grinding wheel. Alright, so there's our one side. So this will fit. Thank you. Yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah. It'll be about that far back, so you have this one's adjustment on that, that knob, right? Mm -hmm. And then, again, this will be bent underneath. Look, and this will be kicked over. Get this away. Like so we're starting, it's already kind of, because it's a small piece, it's not going to be real small, so we don't have to do too much support on it. Why is Because it's sad with another piece of metal on it to get across the mystic. So on these guys we can actually That's a strong one. Could be something like this. Right. And make coils. Make our own little coil. Looks like my hair. <laughs> it does look like it looks like my hair when I Let's do it say. too. Yeah, a little bit. A little I can do it too. <laughs> Wish they were like mine. Mine's really white. Good symmetrical size, they'll be set about three feet, they'll be three to six inches apart. And then we'll weld the pipe along this top edge here. The headboard will get a pipe and come across there. And this just gives us a nice decorative side that'll follow the shape of the body good and have a nice little short two foot bed with a gas tank in it. All right, on to the next thing. Man, I worked, I worked harder than I ha ever had worked in my life. I know it's, I know it's, I get this wrong. All right, who wants to try this? Yeah, hey. Yeah. Uh, Both are missing. I think I'm gonna stick with a chainsaw. So this is bro. my favorite bandsaw. Okay, so, so is there, when you put this on, is right? there any finesse I need to get this thing? Yeah, or a little bit. So this is your fence, right? Mm. So when you're putting that up, you're gonna want to put that onto what you're doing. Okay. Okay. 
and we're going to cut it on that line. I made it a little hair bigger than we have to. So they just cut it, follow the line around like this. Okay. Zaylin, your fro is in my front. And then once it's cut through, his fro is always in my way. Don't cut all the way through. You know what I mean? You gotta cut, you cut the groove, that, and then like you really yeah, know. yeah, and then we'll rotate it. Imagine. And a little bit over I, I said that last time I filmed. Hand. Yeah, shoot. You gotta handle it like a. Oh don't mess this up, Zaylin. Yeah, don't Good, mess Zaylin. it up. Don't mess it up. This stupid chair is in my way. I cut it a little bit before the morning. Bro, you were like barely cutting it. <laughs> cut through it. You'll cut through it. You'll see it. Put some more force into it. It'll all of a sudden go easier when it goes through it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Say hello to my little friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think uh, it looks you a little off. Look, it is, yeah. That, that's, you, you'll be able to crack it a little bit with. So you see where the line is now, and that's like, if we had a tubing cutter, it would work better. But it's uh, um, that's what we'll just chase around. We'll just square it up with the grinder. Make sure your fence is up against the pipe. He likes this side. Yeah, still got it. Oh, I missed one. We got a 45 to cut now, right? So this gets a little trickier. Now, if we got a chop saw, which we don't, then we could just chop it zing, right through. We're going to mark the on here because this is where we'll be cutting. Cut down, and then we'll rotate, cut the other one. So, and we just have to know to cut the black off, right? Yep. So you cut the black off on that. That'll give us, that's going to be our mid support here. And then you're going to have to notch it for this. So it'll be good. Um, but that'll be our cross support here. We're going to have to cut the one, in the inch and a quarter for here and an inch and a quarter for the, for the end of that. And then we're going to have to figure out how long the bed's going to end up having to be. And that's going to be a little tricky because we don't know where this header's going to end up landing. So we're going to have to mock up some stuff. and. And kind of, and we got to, that's where we got to figure out where this header board is going to fit across the back of that bucket because this extends past. I can't just make this flush, and it's not going to be even here. We have to, that's the one thing we have to measure out before we can cut these. We got to figure out how long these have to be. We're making a target. That's where we're stuck. We got to figure out the. The bed length, and I don't know if we can do that. All right, so they're cleaning the surface rust off. What we found is working because it's just oxidation. It's not deep rooted. Is uh, um, using a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer, is actually uh, giving them enough to be able to get up this stuff. You can see how orange that one is there. That one doesn't have much sanitizer on it yet at all. But Aaron's spot here is uh, is done. He got all the. Seems to be working pretty good, huh, Aaron? Yeah. So Eli, he's got the power tool because he started off with this 80. And you can see the bigger swirls up from the 80 grit, and this will start this with 120. And that'll clean that up nice and we'll be able to it. That's just hand sanitizer and 120 grit by hand. Eli's already finished the other side. This thing looks like brand new metal. Look how good this is looking. Looking like brand spanking new sheet metal. <laughs> Aaron got a big old gulf of dust coming off of that sucker. <laughs> so while these guys are sanding and cleaning up stuff, we got, I'm gonna show you a little behind the scenes stuff. Over here, we got uh, Marcus and uh, Wyatt are over here editing out the first part of our video. So these guys are responsible for some of our editing. So when you see their names in there, you know who those guys are. So they're, you like editing? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, all right. So there's a lot of stuff we got to do with this car. Not just build the car, but we got to edit our videos and uh, shoot the videos and everything. And I'm usually not the one behind the camera. This is the one that's usually behind the camera. Aaron likes doing that kind of stuff. Well, so we're getting to it. As you can see, this panel's all done. Eli did a great job on that. It's all like 
it's like brand new again. So they're onto the side panel. This is the driver's side, bed side, and Aaron's still working on that one. But our hand sanitizer got stolen because Marker got on a desk. spot welded in around the perimeter and we want every so often hearing to let that cool we got this welded up here so it's going to be our bedside and you can see we got to work this metal over here and we're going to just work it down and weld that along the edge there that's the next thing we're going to do so many inches that way it keeps it from warping so now that this is done we'll come back here fill start filling in these gaps little by little until that whole thing is completely welded and uh, um, then we'll be able to uh, to grind and dress up those welds and make it look like it's just one piece that's kind of curled around but I think that's gonna give it a, a pretty nice little bedside here we'll probably close up some of these a little bit more they're probably fine spot welded and we could always just run some filler down alongside them to blend them and that would probably be enough for that but I do want this to be solid welded so when we do the body work and paint on that it'll be one piece you don't have to ever worry about it coming loose and having gaps open up so that's the one bedside it's gonna be cool looks like a miniature version of that one <laughs> we got the bedsides done i'm gonna weld this up here it's an uh, inch and a quarter uh channel i'm gonna weld this to the this piece of sheet metal here and this is going to be the headboard uh there will be a pipe that welds across there but we're not exactly sure exactly what height we have to weld that pipe yet because we're trying to mock everything up in a garage without the car and then fit it to the car. So this is gonna get welded on and then we're gonna have some channel that is gonna weld to this and uh, um, cap the end of it. And that'll give us what we need to be able to bring it back to the school for the kids to, to locate everything and uh, mark everything so we know where everything's gonna bolt onto and weld to uh, so I can finish welding it for them. And then we'll have a complete bed minus the wood floor. There's that. Dress these up with a wire brush. And this is as good as we can get for now on this piece. We're not gonna put that the uh, top rail in until we figure out the height it has to be. So this is gonna be our headboard. And it's gonna sit down on the ground like that. And then we gotta put the straights in. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out next. to go past that um, the weld so that's going to sit flush against that frame right and once we do that we can mark and drill and tap a couple holes here to bolt this on once that's bolted to the frame we can mark and drill and tap this right and then that'll bolt this piece to that then we can even do the same thing with this it probably won't be necessary for using the clamps on it like that but what we're going to have to do is once this is on now we have our bed we could take a bedside, so go ahead and grab, grab that bedside there. And we can hold that up. So we got this is nice and straight. We got a little bit of airspace there. Then when we drop that down, that's gonna go that side. Nope, other way. Uh, um, this one's sure? Yep, it goes like that. Um, yeah, Mike. Are you sure it's supposed to go this way? Yes, yeah. Mike. So it goes like that. And then that's gonna drop down. It's gonna be down where this is gonna be. Follow the curve of the body, so I can drop it down real far. I don't know how much it's gonna 
but we're going to pull that back just a little bit because we want to have an air space in there so it's not digging into the fiber. Just put it back there and then uh, touch the mat. right there. Is that about where it, about no. maybe have, oh, this bottom has to come back this way. So what we'll do is once we figure that out, you got the other green little, little, little blue clamp. Thank you. We could take this one and clamp that there. And we'll have to figure out something, maybe a block or something up there to make sure this stays right where we want it and get our space right. Once we have that, we'll be able to drill through here and bolt that together with a couple quarter 20 inch bolts. And then when they bring it home to weld it, I'll be able to weld it and then take the bolts out and weld the holes back up. And that'll jig everything where it has to be. So notice how the bed floor is short from the, the side a little bit. It's because our tailgate's going to sit in here. So we had to design this to fit our tailgate and that way It'll give us enough room for the tailgate to sit flush with this edge, and then when we drop the tailgate, it'll fit there. So once we get this whole box done, it'll bolt on four bolts here and a bolt here, and then we're going to extend this out with that other box tubing we have to connect to here to give us the strength that it'll have. And it will it should lock this whole bed in pretty nice. And then once it's all jigged and bolted together, bring it home for the final welding, and then it's just to set it down, bolt it down. Once it's bolted down, I can, I can uh, we're also going to load this pipe up here. Once it's bolted down, we'll have this nice tray. We can cut the wood to fit. Gas tank will bolt into that. Uh, we can build the where this will drop down and come under because this will have to come back up again. Drop down to go under, we'll be able to mount the taillights and the laces plate back here. Tailgate will be flush with that and it'll just be a nice little box on the back of the truck. Right? There's our next step. So this sucker, we have to cut about those blue lines there. So let's take that over to the workbench, and I'm going to take this for now. Wayne, you might have to move. And I'll hold this up like that for now. Oh, yeah. So, so stable. Can, yes. So stable. Just, just don't breathe on it. Everything will be fine. <laughs> don't breathe on it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I got that piece. So we got our bed size on, our camera acted up, the card got full, and uh, by the time I figured out how to clear the card out, we got a bunch of other stuff done. So this is all just mocked up right now. Uh, we bolted these uh, sides on for now, and exactly where they need to be, everything's leveled up and, and squared up. So now we can take this back off to bring it home to final weld it. But if, before we do that, we wanted to mock it up and see what it looked like with the gas tank sitting in place. There's a pipe that's gonna go across here flush with the bed, and then this will weld to that. Uh, that'll square that up. On this side here, we left this kick up like this, so that way we can adjust the shocks and notch this to give us a little clearance on the, onto the rear axle. So it gives us everything we need to be able to have a nice little bed on here. This is just set on here for now. We are going to build some supports to tie this together a little stronger, and then we're going to use oak wood for the bed floor. Uh, then we'll make our tailgate and tail pan to mount the taillights and stuff in. And we think we have an idea for our, our mount for our battery. We think we're going to mount under the bed here. And once we get that mount under there, we'll figure out if we're going to build an access panel that you would lift up to service the battery, or you'll just climb underneath it to take the battery out a few times you need to access the battery. But that's, that's our little pickup bed now. Here, you kind of get a good look at how that bed's going to be with the wheel. That, that's a 30-inch diameter circle we cut for a temporary wheel. That's about how big of a tire we're going to put on the back of it. So you can see the proportions are pretty good on it. It fits the tank nice. All right, Zalen's getting ready to cut our... This was the license plate mount receiver. And since we're doing our bed, um, we're going to trim the top part off there. So he's cutting the line right down through here. Is that on? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. angle the saw it'll change how it vibrates it might be worse it might be better you know what I mean you just have to dance it a little bit I think if you put the foot on there and then 45 it'll probably cut through it pretty good 
Hi. That's probably a good idea. Dun, dun, dun. She heard the mess, so our custodian came out to clean it all up before she we were done. Mess. <laughs> she heard the mess. She heard the, the trash in the floor. I'm to saw it down a little bit, and it might cut easier without vibrating so much. Or it might be worse. <laughs> well, he's struggling with that. Let's see what we got here. We got our bed all bolted on. And this is going to be our pivot for our tailgate. So I just have a couple of half inch holes drilled in there, welded a nut inside this rod. And that's going to be our pivot for our tailgate. We'll have an angle iron come up here so we can um, it'll come up the tailgate length, and that'll be where we can put our hook through. This will be reinforced with a piece of eighth inch all the way down through, and I'll keep that real strong. And we got to weld this up yet. That has to be pushed back to there and welded. That's going to be welded there, and that's our bed. So now we're working on making this plate is going to serve as a battery mount. I still haven't made it the way through this thing. <laughs> it's a little off. And just correct it. If you twist it a little bit as you're cutting, it'll correct pretty quick. I mean, it's already like straightish yeah. now, but like it's all. It's all right because once we get it, we don't have. I mean, we're doing it by, with hand tools, so we'll just correct it with a grinder. So we had to stop at Interstate Welding and Steel Supply. This is where I get my tanks filled for my welder, and we're going to get some other steel we need to finish up that bed. So I got to get a couple tanks filled. These guys are great. They've helped us out with the uh, the steel that we use to build that bed. Sorry, guys, I forgot to film all the other stuff, but I uh, welded up the tail pan and the tailgate. Welded these supports in here, so they'll, we'll have to cut a hole through here and here for a chain to hook into. But after I was done welding, I cleaned it all up and gave it a little spritz of rust oxide primer to keep the rust from setting in on the bare metal. And you guys can kind of get a kind of an idea on how it's going to look when it's all finished out now. Looks pretty good. So, knocking down the first coat of Bondo and, and stuff on the bed. Oh yeah, it was a wood sander. But we're making do with what we got. We just smooth those seams out a little bit. I'm gonna put another coat in here just to make it look, dress it up a little nicer. They look pretty good on it. So I got the bed painted just to seal it up, to keep it up um, for the metal from rusting. And we painted it a flat white for now to match the body a little bit. And uh, um, we still got some body work to do on it, but we're doing mock up, getting ready for our car show this weekend. And we're gonna just kind of stick some parts on there to make it look fairly complete. And we're gonna push it outside. You guys will get to see. Hey guys, here's the car sitting with the bed on it. Look how good this thing looks, man. We got this is the profile. This is how it's gonna sit. We got the engine, and transmission, and storage right now. We're putting that in shortly. Uh, but we wanted to make sure we had the uh, the bed done uh, at least rough, at least roughed in. And I'm sorry about the wind, but it is what it is. As soon as we took out the camera, it started getting windy. So I think it's got really good proportions. Eli's pretending he's cruising in it. He's feeling like he's cruising in the wind blowing the right direction. But those tires, I think that's a wheel and tire. We're going to be running on the back. We got lucky with those. We got to talk to my buddy Chris about those. I got the tires. Uh, I had those in stock. And Chris had the rims. So uh, we'll probably just buy the, the wheels from them. Fronts, they won't work. These are temporary. They're the, about the diameter we're going to be running. But those 14s don't clear the... the uh, caliper too well so i had to put a spacer on just to to be able to roll it around so they're good for rolling right now um but yeah let's show you the bed so there it is first layer of body work is done on most of it and then we sprayed it white just to kind of see how it would look we mounted our taillights in they look great that was the students got to pick the taillight uh, and that's what they picked for it so it's looking real good i still have to figure out our chains and our catch for the tailgate we just tighten it up right now so it can't go down but that's how we're going to mount the tank it's just going to be cool. And that'll, that'll drop down. We'll put the laser plate right in the center. We got our battery mount up underneath. It's sitting loose in there now. So it's kind of looking. But overall, that's a, a cool looking bed for a little hot rod. What do you guys think? Good? Yeah. It's got the lucky's happy. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Watch us for the next episode.